we're going to Mandalay Bay uh, right now, a place I've been kicked out of before um, a couple months ago. And it'd be kind of nice not to get kicked out of there again, but if it happens, it happens, you know? I mean, in the grand scheme of things, if some security guard wags his finger at me and tells me I'm a bad guy, I can't really think of any reason why I should care. I'm at this place called Mandalay Bay where something terrible happened and uh, a greedy company and a corrupt police department have been trying to cover up what really happened with some very transparent and obvious lies. While the hashtag Vegas Strong campaign raised over $10 million, less than $20,000 were distributed to the victims in the first five months. And that's kind of when it became clear to me that it was just another campaign, it was just another slogan to make people see the city in the best light possible. It never really seemed to be about the victims. Las Vegas has been notoriously known over the years as Sin City, but it's almost as if it's Spin City. When you're a reporter and you're behind the scenes, you see a side of Vegas that is quite startling. When I was a police reporter, I remember there were showgirls who were being raped. So it was a series of rapes in an apartment building, and they'd want to call it a serial rapist. If you got a serial rapist running around town, and they don't want to put that on the local news because uh, Joe Idaho might see it in his hotel room and get scared, that's dangerous for the whole community. When we started Las Vegas Emergency Incidents, we just wanted to get the news out there because we felt like we were being deprived of a lot of stories. When I was working downtown on the graveyard shift, and I would listen to the police scanners, and you would hear like all these assaults and these fights and these robberies, and then you'd turn on the news the next day, crickets, nothing to do with any of that. And you're like, wait a minute, why isn't all this stuff being reported? They're protecting the tourism dollars. This is a safe place to come and give us all your money. They don't want you to know that, you know, Someone on the street might take your money, not the casino. I feel like the news really isn't the news. They hide a lot, and the only reason why I know that is because being a hairdresser, I have a lot of clients who work on the strip, and they will tell me what actually happens there. I actually have an old co-worker. She passed away last summer. She jumped off the seventh floor at Aria Casino. Never made the news. The news team, they're not even allowed on property to film anything unless it's okayed by the company. Working as a bellhop, I've seen coroners come down with body bags and, you know, someone commit suicide in, in one of the rooms there and no one ever knows about it. I'd say we walked about nine to 10 miles today, just filming around the strip. Um, and it's uh, just about 2 a.m. and so we're pretty tired. And last shot of the night, and uh, yeah. We were talking about the largest mass shooting in the history of the United States. This is a crazed lunatic. My brother just killed 58 people. My dad was on the 10 most wanted FBI list. We're not normal people. Ah! gambled $1.6 million at the Mandalay in the week before he did this. He was really, really angry with the gaming industry. There's been accusations that there's multiple shooters that has been proven to be false. You had politicians grandstanding on this Vegas Strong movement to get elected. Vegas Strong. I'm turning tragedy into opportunity. It was an election year, and it was camera time for Lombardo and his friends. I want to thank Sheriff Lombardo for your leadership. I'm getting face time every day. Almost every press conference, you saw one figure, and that was Steve Sislak, using this as a springboard for his political campaign. He used the tragedy to get elected. While the hashtag Vegas Strong campaign raised over $10 million, less than $20,000 were distributed to the victims in the first five months. If they came out and said what really happened, I think they're afraid of a period of time where people say it's not safe to go to Vegas. Nothing happens in Las Vegas without the ring of a cash register. MGM Resorts is suing the victims. They are being sued for getting shot. Shameful, disgusting, outrageous. The newly released video shows Las Vegas police waiting in the hallway as Stephen Paddock continues to murder people. Oh my God. 
lives could have been saved if they would have taken action. They were fibbing the whole time about being such big heroes they were hiding in the hallway. I asked them, are you stupid or are you incompetent? Please stop asking your question. You hear officers directly saying, turn your cameras off. We saw multiple muzzle flashes coming out that window. There is no conspiracy. Can't trust it! Yeah, can't trust this!